So, yun, I hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's vlog, I'm gonna show you kung paano ko ginagawa yung banana bread. Okay? Uh, actually, wala akong bala gumawa ng banana bread. Pero, naglilinis kasi ako. So, I noticed I have four pieces of old bananas already. So, uh, actually, I was thinking na gawin siyang banana milkshake. And yet, basic ko, gawin na lang at siya. Gawin ko na lang siyang banana bread. Kasi luma na yung banana eh. Parang hindi na siya kaya-aya kainin. Okay, I'll show you ano yung itsura ng banana. So, ito yung itsura ng bananas. Let's see. Ang dami na siyang black, black thing. And then, um, masyado siyang malambot. So, I have four pieces of bananas here. Okay. I was thinking, gawin siyang banana milkshake. Pero let's just do uh, banana bread. Eh, luckily, po natin dyan. So, luckily, I still have uh, flour, eggs, and yung mga kailangan, yung mga enough na kailangan ko for a banana bread. So, tara, simulan natin yung paggawa ng banana bread. Alright, after peeling the bananas, then may chore niya, di ba? So, the older the banana, the better. Kasi, mas matamis yan pagka luma na siya. So, you need flour. Uh, you don't need Walnuts, pero I have walnuts. Why not use it, right? And then salt, I use pink salt and vanilla extract. This is oil. Tapos yung sugar. And syempre, you need a baking soda. Lalagay ko sa description down below yung mga exact amount of ingredients para pwede nyo rin magawa. And syempre, kailangan natin ng pan. So I have this one. Okay? So, imi-mix lang natin yan. And then, yeah, yun yung, ano natin? Ba, ba, what do you call that one? Butter? Not butter, butter. Anyway, let's start na. So, first and foremost, kailangan kong coveran to. Kasi, tira mo, it's old na, very old na. Diba? Actually, marami na ako na bed dito eh. Anyways, so, papatungan ko siya ng uh, foil sa loob. This one and this one. Actually, dapat gagamitin mo is yung baking sheet. But I don't have a baking sheet, so I'm just gonna use foil. Since I have foil, wala akong baking sheet. So, I don't know. I hope it works. I never used this one before. I always use um, baking paper, pero wala akong baking paper. Eh. So, what to do? So, lagay mo natin to dito. A few moments later. Okay, after a few minutes, ito na itura niya. Okay? Again, you don't need to be so good, so nice, so perfect. Kasi, hindi naman tayo baker. This is just for fun. Alright, anyway. So, gawa na natin to. Tabi lang natin. Tapos, we're going to do the mixture na. Okay, so let's set. Yung mga kailangan natin. Kata na ganyan. Para malinis. And then, now we need bowl. I use this one. Then of course, of course, we're going to peel the banana, and then we're gonna put the banana in the bowl. Yeah. Then of course, we're gonna do it. Then, we must mash lang natin tong bananas. Okay, kailangan mash. Okay, there you go. See? Nakamash na yung bananas. Tapos, tapos talagyan. Muna natin ito sa one side. Okay? Another bowl. Ngayon naman, pagkahaluhaluin na natin, pagkahaluhaluin na natin yung ating mga dried ingredients. Okay? So, first, we have flour. Okay? This is a one and a half cup of flour. Okay? Next, I'm 
and then we need one teaspoon of baking soda. Where's the one teaspoon? One, four, one. Here we go. One teaspoon of baking soda. Yep. There you go. Then we're gonna put some salt. Salt is got on that one teaspoon the yung salt. Okay, let's put one teaspoon of salt. Perfect. One teaspoon of salt. Alright, then one cup of sugar. The sugar that I'm using and uh granulated sugar and gamut ko. Then mix lang natin tong mga dried ingredients. Yeah. Ngayon, uh, sa ganyang part, naglalagay na ako ng, what do you call this one? Cinnamon, sorry. And just dash of cinnamon. Not too much. Dash lang. Okay. Tapos mix natin siya ulit. So, after this, kukuha tayo na yung Mixing bowl, pagsasamasamahin naman natin yung wet ingredients. At okay na yan. Punta naman tayo sa wet ingredients. Okay, for the wet ingredients, kuha tayo ng bowl. Sorry, wala akong bowl, so I'm using my very, very old uh, rice cooker. Pero wala na rin akong rice cooker. So, lalagay natin yung mga wet ingredients. Lagay natin yung banana. Well, much better if we have a spatula, which is, tada! We have a spatula. Okay. Wait, I'm here. Kalu wait that way. Yeah. Okay. At tapos, yung oil. Half a cup of oil. I'm using uh, sunflower oil. Then, spatula para simot. Again, kaliwete ako. Kalimutan ko. Simutin lang natin para hindi sayang. Oop. Okay, then, vanilla extract. Sa vanilla extract, kailangan mo lang is 1 teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, what? There you go. That. Okay, the last one is two whole eggs. Okay, we need two eggs. Let's crack this baby. Oops. There you go. It's one. Out. Oh, that's two. Then, tabi tabi mga kalat para malinis. Tapos, we're gonna mix it up. Yan, sa part na to, kailangan natin ang mixer. Okay? So, let's put this one here. Let's get a mixer. One muna, small, slow speed. Okay. Ngayon, pag na-mix nyo na yung wet mixture, Okay. Sa kanya na ilalagay paunti-unti yung dry mixture. So remember, ito yung dry mixture natin kanina. Ngayon, konti-konti lang natin siyang ilalagay. Tapos, imimix natin pa rin, syempre. Come on. I think I need a spoon. There you go. Yeah, baby. Okay, then we mix, slow. Tapos, lagay tayo ulit. Hanggang sa maubos siya, syempre. Bakit hindi ko siya sinas nilagay lahat? Kasi pag nilagay mo siya lahat, dahil mababaw lang yung bowl natin, baka tumapon. Okay, ganyan mo muna siya bago mo i-on. Okay. Ayan. Ngayon, pwede natin atin. Pwede lang lahat to. 
Pagsinahan ko lahat. Alright. Ayan. Sama-sama na siya. Imi-mix na natin. Lahat. Hindi ko muna i-on. Para wag tumapon. Pag medyo ganyan na oh, Sorry. Pag medyo ganyan na yung consistency niya. Yeah, medyo okay na yan. Yeah. Yep. Medyo okay na yan. Ngayon. Take it out. Siyempre. Kailangan mo naman. Inilisin yung. What do you call this one? Ito. Blade mixer ba ito? I don't know. Wait, where's my spatula? At this point of time, actually, dapat kari kanina pa, sorry. Uh, kailangan na pinipreheat nyo na yung oven nyo. Okay? Put your oven in 350 degrees. Tapos, pipreheat nyo na siya. Habang ginagawa nyo ito, mixture. Para pag, syempre, pag natapos na yung mixture, lalagay nyo sa baking tray. Then, Pwede nyo lang ilagay sa oven. Linisin lang natin to, Tapos lagay na natin sa baking tray. Tapos ipagka binake nyo, ibibake nyo lang siya ng about 30 to 45 minutes. Tapos sa akin nga pala, on top, naglalagay din ako ng ano, ng What do you call this one? Sesame seeds. Wala lang. Style lang. Pamp pampaganda lang. Though may benefit din naman na ano, ang sesame seeds. Okay. I think that's good enough. Ayan. So ngayon, ito optional pero ako gusto ko lang. Walnuts. Okay. We add the walnuts. Then we mix. Mix. Highly suggest if you have a spatula, mas maganda para at least kuha nyo yung buong gilid. Ayan. Okay. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay sa ating tray. Okay. Kung napansin nyo kanina, nanilagay ko to, hindi ko siya kinat, di ba? I will cut this one later on. Uh, kasi pag kinat ko agad siya, magkagalaw. So, lalagay ko muna to para mabigat yung loob tapos saka natin ikakat now for me uh, if you have a very good uh, baking tray hindi nyo na kailangan lagyan ng baking sheets okay pero kung mapangit na yung ano nyo baking tray nyo at luma na syempre mas maganda kung may baking sheet diba tapos, advantage kasi ng baking sheet you don't need to, ako ha, sa akin I don't need to put butter or, or what do you call this one? oil hindi na like this one, ginamitan ko although this is not a baking sheet again this is aluminum foil hindi ko na siya ginamitan ng butter para mag, hindi mag stick I don't need that one kasi hindi naman siya mag stick Anyway, kung mag-stick siya, hindi dyan siya mag-stick, diba? So, ayan. Linisin lang natin ito. Wait. Get a fork. Para simot. Huwag magsayang. Panahon ngayon ng pandemic, bawal magsayang. Okay. Now. Here's the thing. You have to press all down, okay? Kailangan ma-press all down. How? Just tap nyo lang. Tap, tap, tap. What's the purpose? Para, what do you call this? Um, walang bubbles. Watch bubbles. Okay. Ngayon, 
gagawin natin, ikakat na natin yung gilid. Ayan, pwede natin ikat yung gilid. Okay. Tapos, lalagay mo na siya sa oven. Ayan. Lalagay. Cut natin yung gilid para malinis. Okay. Wait, ang pangit ng scissor. Just use a knife. Cheap for this. Kasi pag scissor, oh my gulay, sorry. Kasi kapag scissor, mabagal. So, let's use a knife. Again, we are not professionals. This is just how I do. There you go. Make sure na walang foil sa loob. Okay. And that's it. Ibibig natin siya. If you have a uh, air fryer, so set nyo rin air fryer nyo ng uh, 350 degrees. And then, preheat. Always, 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 always preheat para maganda. <laughs> okay. Okay na. So, lagyan natin sa air fryer and then we can eat it later. And I almost forgot your ating sesame seeds. Okay, we get that in sesame. And gano karami sesame? Up to you na po. Up to you na kung gano karami gusto milagay. And actually, this is optional. Kung gusto maglagay, maglagay ka kung ayaw mo. Okay lang din. So, pick na natin. A few moments later. A few minutes later. Actually, it's 30 minutes. Ito na po siya. See? Firm. Yung butas-butas na yan, um, I poke a toothpick para makita if luto na yung loob. So, yan na po siya. Iko-cool down ko lang siya. Actually, pwede ko na rebuksan yan yun. Hindi na siya masasira. Yan. Yan na siya. Tapos, so just a few minutes, magko-cool down lang siya. Then, pwede na i-cut, pwede na i-serve. Pag lumabig na, pwede na rilagay sa ref. Banana bread. And dyan po nagtatapos ang ating short vlog. Uh, kung paano ko gawin yung version ko ng banana bread. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of video, please, please, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell na rin para sa next video ko or video namin is ma-notify kayo. Alright? So, until next time, thank you guys for watching. See ya!